Hello and welcome to DB Overland and welcome to 2023. So I wanted to put together this video for you guys to talk about what's to come for 2023 and then also to talk to you guys about 2022 and things that happened during 2022 and some highlights of 2022. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what's to come for the channel. So sit back and relax and let me share, you, share with you some of the big things that are to come. Okay, so let's talk about 2022 and some of the things that happened. So I just want to first start off with saying I'm sorry for not getting a whole lot of videos out. Life got very, very busy for me and a lot of major things have happened and so I just was not able to put the time into creating videos for you guys like I should have been. So I wanna just first start off with saying I'm sorry for that. And for this year, I'm gonna be trying much, much, much harder. So again, sorry for not getting a whole lot of videos out there. <laughs> so, but okay, so let's, let's talk about some of the good things with 2022 oh shoot so my tag along tour that was awesome thank you everyone who participated in db overland's very first tag along tour now it went so well that i'm going to make this a continuous thing every year I'm going to be hosting a tag along tour. Now, I'm going to try to make sure that every year is a little bit different and not just the same route over and over and over again. So I'm really excited to share with you guys uh, the tag along tours. Um, I'm going to be having uh, 2023's tag along tour. Uh, registration is going to be opening up on Facebook so you'll want to go on Facebook and make sure that you guys sign up for that because there's only going to be 15 spaces available so when I go live with that you'll find out where we're gonna go what times it's gonna be and uh, like I said there's only gonna be 15 spaces available so Make sure you guys keep an eye out for that and I will let you, uh, I will announce it when it comes up. So for big trips, well, you know, honestly, we didn't really do a whole lot of big trips with everything going on. Um, I did a lot of great small trips and uh, I did, let's see here. We went on the Big Horn Mountains, uh, did a rigs and coffee. Thank you, Symmetry Trailers, for hosting that. I was very honored that you guys wanted to host me for your rigs and coffee. We went out and did a amazing camping trip after that, and we actually got snow. We woke up to about four inches of fresh powder snow, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't film that camping trip, uh, but it was a great time. So. Okay, so let's talk about what is coming up for 2023. So I'll start off with trips. Now, for this year, or I am working on doing the Wyoming BDR route. And I don't know if I'm gonna go north to south or south to north for that one. I'm still working up the details on that. And then also, We've got our tag along tour, and the tag along tour for this year is going to be in the southern part of the state. And I'm really excited for that one. I'm not going to spill the beans on where we're going for that one yet, but you guys will really enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you will. And I just, I wanted to get out a whole lot more for this year. And so, 
for the big trip coming up for 2023 is going to be that Wyoming BDR and I'm really excited for that. All right, so let's talk about the trailer. What happened to the trailer? What happened to the trailer? What happened to the trailer? <laughs> I, I still have the trailer, don't worry, it's not going anywhere. So the trailer build series, I'm actually filming it as I build it. And that is why there has not been any new content about the trailer. I did get, to the, I did get the trailer to the point where we can use it. And I did use it, I took it on a whole bunch of trips and I'm gonna be making some big changes to it. Uh, I've worked out all the kinks. I was able to uh, use it and figure out what I wanna change here and there. So yeah, there's, I've got lots that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and I'm excited on that. So the trailer series is going to be continuing on. I promise you that. I'm, I, I wanna get it done. I'm very excited about the build. So that is going to be coming. The black truck. Um, I want to do a 2.0 on the black truck. And I've got some very exciting ideas to share with you guys on the black truck. And I was kind of stalling out on the black truck because I really didn't know where I wanted to go with that build but now I do. And here's, here's my idea. Here's my idea. And I'm really, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. I just, I wish I had the time and the money to just dive right into it and just focus all on that, but it's life. We can't, <laughs> you know? So, okay. What I want to do with the black truck is I'm going to build it for international traveling. Now, why am I gonna build that truck versus the Tacoma? Because the Tacoma is not an international platform. The black truck is. It was considered the Hilux all across the world. And no matter where I travel in the world, those trucks are still on the road. So parts are gonna be very easy to find or easier to find than anything for a Tacoma. So what I wanna do, I've got a diesel engine from Toyota that I'm gonna swap into that truck. I'm going to extend the frame longer behind the cab and I'm gonna build a custom sleeping quarters on the back of the truck. I'm gonna remove the box and have these, this custom sleeping quarters with a kitchen and everything else that we need for uh, traveling internationally. And the reason why I'm going that way versus a rooftop tent is because of security and it, we can do it in all seasons. So that is the plan for the black truck and I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited for that one. So the other vehicle is the Tacoma the Million Mile Overlander. And if you're curious, the truck is now currently up to 360 plus thousand miles. So it's it's climbing up there, <laughs> but it's just, it keeps going. So I've done a lot of work to the truck. I built a roof rack for the truck and I've been doing a lot of electrical work. Um, I'm currently installing a diesel heater for doing winter camping, because I really want to get out and do more winter camping. It's just something about winter that, it's just, it's so peaceful and it just adds a whole nother sense to camping. So I am working really hard on that. I haven't really filmed any of this progress because I don't know, is that something you guys wanna see? Do you wanna see me uh, fabricating stuff for the truck and doing the wiring and stuff like the heater? So let me know, you comment down below. Let me know if that's stuff that you would like to see with uh, the black truck and also the Tacoma, if you wanna see build videos. Or do you want me to just get it done and then show you and explain to you what I did? So. 
but that's that's the three vehicles and the Tacoma I've still got I've still got a rear bumper to fabricate um, I need to do um, a whole bunch of other little miscellaneous stuff I want to get rid of the bed rack and I want to go to a canopy system instead of the bed rack I bed racks look cool but honestly to me they're pointless because you're dealing with the elements all the time and I, I don't want to do that I want to have a nice canopy system and closes everything in seals it off so that's kind of what that's the direction that I wanted to go with the truck so that's that's the vehicles and that's what I have in mind for 2023 so let's talk about videos now currently I am working on the Idaho series that I did uh, believe it or not this is how far behind I am I did the Idaho series a couple of years ago and I am trying my best to <laughs> get caught up on those. So there's going to be a lot more of the Idaho uh, series uh, trip coming. But I also did a trip down to Colorado. And then I have also uh, been doing a lot of other smaller trips. So I'm going to kind of skip forward a little bit. And I'm going to start mixing in the Colorado trip. I'm going to start mixing in uh, the smaller trips that we did around Wyoming just to kind of break it up a little bit. And then when I get a trailer build uh, video, that'll go in. So I'm going to, I'm going to just break away a little bit of in order and I'm going to just start bouncing around a little bit between the Idaho and the Colorado and then the other local trips that we have done around Wyoming and Montana and stuff. So that is what's to come for video wise. And uh, it's gonna be a heck of a year. Oh, so also another thing that I am going to get set up for 2023, I'm really excited about this as well, is I'm gonna, I'm, I'm working really hard to get a website up for you guys. My website. Somewhere that you guys can go to get merchandise. Um, it's also going to have all of my tag along tours. Uh, a place that you can sign up for my tag along tours. And then also, I'm going to set up a Patreon account. Uh, I hope you guys really are enjoying my videos and if you would like to support me in these <laughs> really fun ideas that I have um, and all these adventures that I'm going on I'm gonna get that established so you guys can support me on those crazy ideas that I have so that that's 2023 what's to come I know it sounds like a lot but I'm, I'm going almost all in on this. I, I love doing this. I love sharing adventures with people. I love taking people out on adventures. So it's my goal. I want to go full time on this. I'm gonna push very hard this year to try to get a minimum of a video out every two weeks. I know that seems kind of a lot, but when you are a full-time dad and work a full-time job, it's, it's, it's tough judging moving around time. So minimum two weeks uh, for every video. And then if I am doing, uh, if I got more time and I'm on a roll, I'll get them out once a week if I can. So, but a minimum two weeks. So yeah. I'm excited for this and I'm excited to bring you guys along on for 2023. So thanks for watching. That's what's to come. And I hope you guys like it until next time. We'll see you out on the trail.